So this right here, what we're covering, is strictly <coughs> field view, right on the iPad itself. <coughs> um, I just went through and made several bullet points of what I think is important with field view. Um, a picture is worth a thousand words. Um, you can have live maps while you're planting. It's every fifth of a second data, um, row by row. So it's very easy to visually diagnose issues. And I'm going to show some screenshots on, on the next slides here of, of what I'm talking about. Um, it's instant field reports. So at any time, um, if you have your downforce map on your field view, you can just hit an instant field report and it shows you a report. Um, it'll organize the rows, um, you know, which rows have um, the most loss of ground contact or, or the greatest excess downforce. So you can quickly diagnose if there's something going wrong back on your row units. Um, obviously you can use it as a scouting tool. You can instantly get all those maps right on your iPad since it's just constantly going over to the 20, from the 2020. So you can take it home with you in the evenings while you're planting, have all those maps. You can see where you're at on how close you're done to being done um, with planting or whatever. Um, and then through the season you always have this with you. Um, and they're, they're live maps. so. You can go out in those fields, it'll show your current location as you're standing there. I'll show you some screenshots on that as well. You can drop field markers, make notes, take pictures. I'm sure in the future this is going to tie in and sync with climate. Um, at least at this point I don't think that's going to be a feature for this year. It's instant backup of field data. so. Um, Basically, all of the same data that the, the iPad is seeing is stored on the 2020. So, right here is, is a field summary report. I talked a little bit about reports. Um, I think these are very useful. Um, you can just see here um, each of the hybrids that you planted in this field, how many acres and how many units you used, the average population. And then right here is, is all of your information you kind of want to make sure you're doing a good job on. And you can see um, what kind of job your planner is doing. And it's very simple. Um, it just kind of grades you. Um, the box will be green if you're good. It'll be red if you're bad. So if you got any red boxes there, give me a call and I can see if I can help you out. It's, it's pretty simple, um, straightforward. When you change a hybrid on the 2020, it automatically changes over on the iPad. You don't have to, like I said earlier, you change all of your settings on the 2020. The iPad is just simply a history. It's just showing the information. That's it's just painting a picture. It's just painting a picture. So right here is an example. We got a simulation map pulled up here. So this is an example of being able to visually diagnose by the row having this row by row data. Um, this is just showing on row 15 um, where we had a whole bunch of skips so there was a problem in the meter. Very simple legend off to the side and then so red is a skip, blue is a multiple, green is good. So we want to maximize our green boxes. <coughs> right here is just showing a transmission failure. This is a spacing map so we can see how oh, we were able to diagnose a issue, a serious issue with the transmission. Right here is showing the field view in scouting mode. So this is just a screenshot of standing out in the field. Um, that blue dot is the current location. And if, if you look close, you can see these direction arrows. So he planted this swath going that direction, and he planted this swath going that direction. You can see the direction arrows, so the iPad GPS may be off by, let's say, 20 feet. Usually it's pretty close, within 5 to 10 feet, but sometimes it may be more than that. And so you can just kind of usually see where you're at just by looking at tire tracks and guest rows or whatever.